So we are uh, hybrid, do questions in the room first, and then we'll end with questions on Zoom. Okay. So whenever you are ready. So it sounds like you still have your voice. No, it's coming back. Yeah. It was gone. It was gone. Um, so what's uh, your favorite snow flavor? I don't have a favorite snow cone flavor. I mean, if we're going uh, cold dessert treat, we're going Ben and Jerry's. We're not even, we're not going to mess around with frozen flavored water. I mean, and in that case, we're going to do some fudge brownie. So. All right. uh, so what do you think of your unit so far? Uh, I'm very lucky uh, this year. We got uh, so many core guys back with guys like Bo Bauer, Shane Simon, Maris Leofau, Jack Kaiser, um, J.D. Bertrand, Isaiah Pryor. I don't know if in any time in my 24-year career have I ever had such a large core group that is returning. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. It's been, it's been a lot of fun to coach here through training camp. Uh, it's made it so that uh, I'm not sure we're going to have to play a lot of freshmen early by necessity. Uh, obviously, through the course of the season, things can change. And then as it relates to the specialists, you know, John and I have been together for five years now. Uh, Michael's been here for, for, I believe, three. Jay going on his third year. So um, there's, there's a lot of comfort right now. Uh, not doesn't mean we're the finished product, but, but there's a lot of comfort and familiarity right now, which is, is made for a really good camp. Uh, consistency uh, in everything that we do and, and playing with the right practicing with the right energy so that we are prepared to play you know it's going to be hot and sticky down in Tallahassee but we got to be ready to go play fast uh, we're pretty close but we're not there yet we still got some time we, we won't shift gears to Florida State till towards the very end of this week and we're going to take some opportunities uh, here in the next couple of days to continue to work those units and evaluate our people. And we've put a lot of people back there. I have two quick questions. One, what's the passion profession? Uh, college at John Carroll University. Uh, um, I thought I was going to play a little linebacker than a guy in the London Fletcher show to campus. And uh, I figured out pretty quickly that London was much better than I was as he had a 15 year NFL career. So uh, I just figured out, hey, if I'm going to make a contribution, I'm going to have to cover kicks and, 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 and be on punt and, and be on the return teams. And through that, I've developed passion. I think one of the things I love most is that I get to interact with such a wide swath of the football team. Uh, I, I, I reach such a big cross section that I develop relationships with guys all across the locker room and it really it makes it a lot of fun and I think has it helped me prepare me to be a head coach and hopefully that opportunity will come again and I think that's part of the preparation. You mentioned J.D. Bertrand. He showcased his skills last year on special teams and now he's got a chance to play. Sure and and Stungy said I asked him one time about his experience coaching players special teams. Coach Stungy said that in his experience that any young player that distinguished themselves on special teams would eventually distinguish themselves on offense and defense. And JD's a great example of that, was a, a great core player. Maris Leofau's another, uh, you know, great core players as youngsters that have developed into really good uh, defensive football players. When he's on, he's, he's really good and he's had a really good camp. He's been really consistent. I think Jay and John both missed not have that full spring last year when we tried COVID and guys had to stay home. There was some physical development that we lost in the weight room that now seeing an off season with Coach Bayless and his staff, I think Jay looks great and there's, there's pop in that leg. And now it's our job and my job to manage it and make sure that we're not wearing them out here in camp and almost keeping them on a pitch count so that we can keep them fresh uh, for the start of the season. What's the longest field goal for us so far? 54. The one he made from 52 was halfway up the net. I mean, that was a really well-struck ball. And, and I think the farthest John's made for us here in practice is 58. I mean, we put him out there for 57 last year against Clemson. It was a really well-struck ball. It was a yard and a half short. So, I mean, we feel like we can 
think about a good ways. Maturity wise, some bounds. Every student in college, you hope, goes through that process. But John went from uh, a, a young man that was lacking some confidence. He had immense physical talent to, to a really, he's a grown man now. He's really self aware. He knows uh, his emotions. He's, uh, John is a joy to work every day. A um, lot of love him as a person. So, you know, we guys in our room, we, we have a good time and he kind of leads that chart. No doubt. The amount of feedback and, and the amount of one on one stuff that we do, even in the off season, you know, through through text exchanges and pulling a clip off the, the desktop and, and filming it on my phone and sharing it with us. He, he and I probably more than any other guy in our group talk the most and, and you know, I'm gonna I'm missing Charlie when he's gone. I'm glad we got him for another year. Um, how did Michael Vincent obviously get the first start in the box? How did how did he go out there? Michael is a great example of of first of all Wapu Nation, the 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 proud tradition of walk on players here at Notre Dame and Coach Kelly and through Coach Kelly, my commitment to we are the program and. and outside of Chicago. We scholarship Alex Pice, but we made it clear to both parties, this is going to be a competition. And, and Michael, um, he's, got, he's got an incredible skill to throw a ball between your legs 15 yards at 0.7 and do it accurately. That's, that's a pretty elite skill. And he has improved himself so much athletically so that he can get out there and cover a kick and fall in the pile every once in a while. Um, but I'm just so proud of him. And, and um, he's got so many fans in our locker room. Because they see how hard that can work. And it's Alex. But um, both guys have worked really hard. But, again, we're in a results-based business. And in the end, how can Coach Kelly or any of us get up in front of the team and say, meritocracy, you get what you earn. Michael has earned this job, and he has not given it up. And, we're a better football team for him. Do you give him a rough time when he missed that punt? Yes, well, I give him a rough time for everything. But the beauty of Mike Milk is that he doesn't care. You know, it just rolls right off. Him. Good? Good. All right, Coach. You're good Thanks, guys. Just, just head up to Katie upstairs. You got it.
No comes from the media. If they're still open, so you guys head on over.
Good. Um, feeling really confident in you know what I've been doing. I know our special teams looks really good right now. Um, we've we've been really good in the past two years that I've been here, um, and I think we're we're looking good to to be able to do that again. Uh, we got a lot of guys working really hard. Um, we have some big time players uh, on offense and defense that are that are making their impact on special teams, and that's that's a huge deal when you got guys like that at a place like this that are, you know, playing specialties. Um, so Coach Pauling says that the unit's basically working on being more consistent. Exactly. How important is that just with consistency? So I think I've focused on it more this year than I have ever focused on it. Um, obviously, being a specialist, that is the the top top deal. Um, doesn't matter. You can pick a 50-yard ball with great hang time unless you do it every time. Um, so – being intentional and doing what I need to do um, has been a been a big deal, and not not so much just in consist consistency with my kicks, but in my drop, my steps, um, and all my mechanics, and doing everything that needs to be done to, to hit the punt. So, when you like hand that perfect punt, what's that you know, Um, obviously you got numbers. Um, that's no return is what I want to see. You know, if if you're holding the the, the return team. To, to zero yards and you got a 42, 44, 45 yard punt. I mean, I'm, I don't think anybody's going to complain about that. Um, and you know, other than that, it's, you know, it feels good off the foot when, when you kick it. So. Can you explain to me what your tag team is on here? Which one? So this one's Psalms 23, one through three it says, uh, Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Um, this one says to tell us die, uh, it means it is finished uh, in Greek. So Jesus said on the cross. How does a guy from Tuscaloosa get things back from Tuscaloosa? Um, when Notre Dame wants me to come play football more than them now, there is. So, and I'll take that every day. Jay, we've seen the leg is getting stronger, but what have you done in the offseason to prepare the mental? Yeah, so, you know, I've been, like I said, being really intentional this offseason has, has been a really big focal point for me. Um, and that's not just in mechanics and in punting. That's from recovering nutrition in the weight room, all that stuff, you know, it, it doesn't, that doesn't work on the field if I'm not doing all the right things off the field um, and being able to put it all together is kind of, I don't know. They say golfers will change their swings. Do punters change their kicks? I don't change my swing necessarily. Um, I will change my drop, you know, tweak things here and there. Um, raise, lower, a little more extended than others, you know. Um, it's kind of like trial and error, you know. I know it feels right for me. Um, it's 
once you once you get on it, you you can make it repeat. Are you game ready now? I'm I'm game ready. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this year. What what for you is the more pressure? Kicking on front or punting on front or uh, pulling a kick to the score? Um so I was telling the, the people upstairs, like I haven't I don't really get super nervous. I mean, I, I think I was a little nervous for my first game, but it's pretty easy for me to kind of zone out and I don't knock on wood. Um, it's, it feels pretty easy for me to zone out. Um, and I was telling them really the only time this past year I was nervous was for the Alabama game. And it was because I, every single person I knew was watching, you know, um, and just to know that I had all those people support me, but you know, it's, I kind of go in my little bubble when we get to a game time, you know, I'm, Nothing around me. It's just I'm doing what I'm doing, muscle memory. Um, same thing over and over. Very good. Thanks, right. Thank y'all. Thanks, Jay. What's up, Don? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good. Can we take questions from in the room first so you can look up the cameras while you're answering them? If okay. there's any questions on Zoom, I'll finish up with Zoom. Sounds good. You ready to go? Yep, yep. All right, room, go ahead. So, John, how's the camp going for you? Uh, it's been good. Uh, it's been good to have a, a normal camp this year, a normal camp schedule. Uh, meeting times are all at the same time. Uh, got to go move back into the dorms and then spend time with the team in the earlier part of camp. So, it, it's been a good experience for us. How nice is it for you to be back this year? COVID? Yeah, I mean, excuse me, it's something I didn't expect. Um, Something that when I heard about it, I, you know, I figured I would take advantage of. And as, as the season progressed and, and as, I, as I realized, you know, there'd be things for me to do, like, you know, I get a master's you know, degree and, and just, you know, spend another year with the guys, of course, and, and you know, improve as a player and, and try to come back for one more year. Um, it was something I, you know, I obviously took that opportunity and something I'm really thankful for. What are some of the things that you've worked on so far? Um, for me personally, the biggest thing is, is, is trying to keep my upper body quiet, um, stay as calm as I can with that because that allows, you know, the kick to be more repeatable, um, see the ball better. I'm just typical things, you know, I think this fifth year is really giving me an opportunity to really kind of hone, hone in on my game, you know, it's my third year here, or it's my third year kicking. So um, those are the main two things. And it's been, it's been good work with Coach Paul and the younger guys on those things. Do you have past work with any coach on Saturday Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I have a guy at home, uh, Dan Orner from Charlotte, who I've been working with since I was, you know, 15 years old. So, you know, in the summertime, I like to send him my kicks. Uh, you know, when I come out here and kick, I, I send those to him and, you know, on the rare occasion that I do get to go home, uh, I, I try to set up a time to, to go work with him. And, you know, that, that information is always pretty valuable. John, kickers have rituals. Can you kind of walk us through your rituals when you get on the field? Mm. Uh, biggest thing, come out, dap Jay up, tap him on the helmet, look up at the upper, look up at my spot based on where I am in the field, um, how far, and hash mark, all that stuff. You know, check the wind, obviously. And then, you know, three steps back, two to the left, look down, deep breath, look up, shake my arms a little bit, and then we're good to go. How much of the game is mental? I mean, if it, obviously it's physical. You know, it, it's it's interesting. You know, the, people think kicking is more mental than everything else in the field. Obviously, you know, there's there's a huge physical component of it too. Um, I, it's it's mental in the sense that you have to you have to set yourself up for success before the kick, before the ball is even snapped. Um, and there's a lot of work that goes in that, making sure you're doing the right things. You know, on the sideline, you're thinking about the right things on the sideline. You got all the information you need, like you know, is it windy? You know, what's the hash mark? What's the distance? How am I hitting the ball on this particular day? There's a drawing a little bit more. Am I toeing the ball a little bit more on this day? Um, that go beyond just like the typical like focus, concentration element that everybody kind of attributes kicking success to, which obviously play a big role. Um, but but mentally, obviously, it, it's a lot. And, and trying to set yourself up for success before the kick is if you can win that battle, you can you can do anything physically. I mean, we have we have. A, uh, I talked to Dr. Selkin, you know, here. I don't mean I don't have a personal coach, but you know. I've I tried, I, I use her resource, her as a resource whenever I feel like it, you know, and I, I try to do, do the best I can to make sure I'm as, you know, it, to keep my life in order, you know, make sure I can focus on game day, just like everybody else. It's been great having the same coach for five years. Um, it's rare in college football. Uh, it's rare for a kicker. Um, and it's been really good for us working through our relationship. Obviously we've gotten to know each other really well now. Um, and, and just the stability of that, it's, it's meant a lot to me. You know, someone I know who's always been in my corner, someone I know who's, who's you know, obviously really plugged in at the next level, who's got insight. And it, it's, been, it's been really good just to have that consistent voice. It's, it's really steady presence for me. I'm knowing that, you know, when I get too high, you know, he brings me down. When I get too low, he brings me up. And that, you know, going off the mental part, that's a huge role, you know, as a kicker. He's like a caddy of sorts, you know. Keeps me, try to keep me an even keel so I can perform my best. 
I'm just more comfortable where I am this year. Um, I mean, I, I was, yeah, I'm more comfortable, obviously. You know, I know what to expect in a sense. Obviously, I, I still get nervous like I did when I was, you know, a junior. You know, that doesn't change, which, which is what I love about it, um, is, is that the games are still the same. Everything's still the same. But obviously, I just have the experience now. So it's really more about trying to, you know, hone in on those you know, things I've picked up over the last two years throughout the good and the bad, uh, to, you know, try to, try to bring them together this year. Thank you, guys. That's it? Yep, you're All right. right. I, I didn't know you wanted to talk to me. No, before. you're good. Appreciate it. Oh, yep. right. Thanks, John. I don't need any more swag stuff. I need more shorts. I need more shorts. Okay, I need more shorts, but I'll just get my idea. Graphics report. It's hot. I can't grab it. It wasn't like a suit, like I felt like it was
we're going to do uh, questions in the room first. So you can look at the cameras when you're answering your questions. If yep. there's any questions at the end, we'll do that. Well, let me fix my hair. Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Good to go? I think so. I think this right. might be as good as it gets. Love that. All right, All right. go ahead. So first off, what happened on that punt uh, stadium tracks? Uh, I mean, the psycho one that I caught? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the first one did happen. No, um, first one, uh, you know, Jay, he actually hit a pretty decent ball. Um, a lot of things were running through my head. That was the most pressure that I ever faced on a football field. Uh, it was more pressure than the Clemson uh, PAT snaps into overtime, more pressure than facing the Heisman winner in the face um, because I knew that I had to catch this to get the guys out of um, a really tough period because I don't do 88s, and they do. I'm like, if I drop this, then that's on me, and they have to do that while I just sit there and watch them do it. Um, so after I dropped the first one, I was like, please give me another chance. Like, I don't, I don't want to be kicked out of my house, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then Coach Kelly was, he gave me another shot, and then I, I caught it barely. <laughs> so how did you get the nickname Dog? Yeah, so uh, my freshman year, uh, Tyler Newsom, he was our punter, um, and he nicknamed the specialist unit the cheese unit. Um, so when I first came here, he gave me the temporary nickname of Milk, and then um, – I was supposed to earn my cheese status, uh, but then it just kind of stuck. You know, he introduced me as milk to all the guys in the locker room. He introduced me as milk to the, the strength staff, um, right on cue, strength staff, um, the coaching staff. Um, and then Wake Forest game, was at Wake Forest 2018. I was standing in the way of Coach Kelly, and then he said, get out of my way, milk. And then that just kind of indoctrinated my name as milk forever. So, so what, uh, obviously you had to work your way up and got to get the job and the job. What does it like to kind of earn that goal? Right. Um, feels great. You know, I, I try to work really, really hard and, you know, be the best person I can and, you know, be, be the best teammate. You know, at the end of the day, that was my ultimate goal is be the best teammate that I can be. And then everything else would kind of fall in line. And then, you know, I just kind of put my head down, went to work. And then when I came back and I saw that my name was on the top of the depth chart, you know, it really felt really good. And then I had to keep working hard to keep earning it every day because, you know, nothing's given here. This is Notre Dame. We're one of the top programs in the country. Everything is earned. And then, you know, I just really wanted to keep, you know, earning the respect of my teammates, the respect of Coach Poli and, and Coach Kelly, and then prove to them why they can trust me to go in a game. So I don't want to your process of choosing the law um, I had a scholarship offer from West Point. Uh, and then, you know, all due respect to, you know, West Point, um, that, that, that lifestyle just wasn't for me. Um, and then being from the Chicago area originally, you know, the, Nord the Notre Dame connection, you know, it was just a no-brainer for me. Um, and yeah. Can you give some insight during game day, what you're doing on the sideline, mm -hmm. like you're mentally ready to get? Right. So when the, the defense is out there, um, you know, I kind of, I, I sit down and I sit next to Jay and Dor. We kind of go over like, like what worked, what didn't work and that. And then when the defense comes off, offense comes on, then I get up, I grab a football, I find some open space, I get a few snaps on air. Um, second down, you know, I just kind of watch it. And then third down, I get one more snap and then kind of get mentally ready to go. Go, I hand the ball to one of the managers because one of them would hold it for me on the sideline. Um, and then I would go get the whole punt team together, make sure everyone's in line, and then go stand by Coach Poley. And then when he asked Coach Kelly if he wanted to punt, and he said that, that we were good to go. Then it was time to flip the switch and then really go out there, take the field, and try to put our team in the best spot. I saw you working with the linebackers last week. Is that a thing that happens normally? Just going to be a long snap and you might be tackling somebody? Or is that, is that just a thing? Right. Um, so at some schools, um, long snappers don't really do a whole lot, but you know, I'm going to, I'm in charge of covering the punts. You know, I have to be able to get guys on the ground. And then Coach Freeman, Coach Lozinski, they've been really, really nice to me in letting us snappers come along and work with the linebackers and the tackling drills and it's been really really helpful any other questions thank you all right thanks all right. Appreciate thank you thanks also milk is great yeah <laughs>